We're still waiting for the name of a man shot and killed early this morning in the parking lot of the Silver Fox Lounge. West Beaver Street was blocked off for more than 12 hours as police investigated the shooting that happened around 1.30 a.m. Channel 4's Nicole Snyder is live on the west side. Nicole. Mary, police still have this area blocked off by crime scene tape and patrols out here actively investigating what happened here early this morning. We know there were multiple shots fired across the parking lot. Even cars were sprayed with bullets and a home behind the club. The police are still searching for the suspects who are responsible for shooting and killing a man and seriously hurting another. What started as a fight inside this nightclub quickly turned into a deadly shooting outside in the parking lot. Police say a man in his early 20s was shot and killed, and another man was shot in the face after a group of men were kicked out of Silver Fox Lounge. More than likely, they didn't have weapons inside the club because in a lot of these clubs like this, they search people through body searches to make sure that no one comes in with weapons, because sometimes you do have altercations like that. Our news for Jack's crime and safety analyst, Gil Smith, says in this case, it does take police a long time to clear the scene because there are a lot of people to interview that were present at the time of the shooting. They may have surveillance video. Uh, there may have been witnesses outside, maybe just people going down the street who may have seen something. Or there could have been some conversation about what someone was threatening to do inside the club. That's why the interviews are so important. So West Beaver Street was closed down for hours, and a large section of businesses were blocked by crime scene tape, including Anthony Knighton's property. This has been my dream for a long time, and uh, I'm going to make it work. Knighton says he moved into the property across from Silver Fox Lounge only two days ago. I'm a little concerned. Um, to say the least, but, uh, you know, I, we had always planned on putting lights and security cameras around the property um, as part of our development, so um, hopefully things will be, be okay. There is a long history of shootings at Silver Fox Lounge. Our news for Jack's records show there was one deadly shooting in January of last year. 22-year-old Donnell Joseph was found dead in the parking lot. Another shooting happened in May. A security guard was shot in the back while closing up for the night. There was also a shooting in 2010 and a deadly shooting in the parking lot in 2002. There have been some, some um, reports I've heard from the previous owners about, you know, maybe finding a bullet hole or two in a wall, uh, which again does concern me, um, but it certainly won't put anyone here at risk because we're not open during those hours. And we are told that man who was shot in the face is in critical condition tonight at UF Health. No word on how long police will be out here investigating or when the name will be released of that person who died early this morning. But we'll keep you updated on air and online with all that information as soon as we get it. I'm live on the west side, Nicole Snyder, Channel 4, The Local Station.